The next step for the delete user page is to make it so that when the user clicks on the delete button that it actually goes back and sticks the username in that text box and that other panel appears and this panel disappears. So let's show you how to do that. And what we're going to do again is copy some code. I got this all set up on another page. And we're going to copy this whole routine and then we'll take a look at it. So I'm going to copy that code, paste it somewhere in here, where it's not inside another subroutine. Now let's take a look at this. So it's this user grid delete command, and the way that we get that to fire off, if I remember right, is in our data grid, which is called user grid, we have, anyway, in our button column, we have the command name is delete. So we want to make sure that that command name is set to delete here. So our command name is set to delete. And so this code then is attached to that user grid object and the delete command. So what we, we do here then is we make a data grid item. And this data grid item is it's a grid, you know, data grid object. And then we set um, this to the data grid that's passed into us. Because what we're going to do is walk through here and go to the first cell in the item that's being updated, the item that was being clicked on. We want the first cell, and they actually they look at this as a column. They actually start counting at column zero. So that the column zero is the button, and then cell is the first cell is cell one where the username was. We want to grab the username out of that row for the data grid. And then what we'll do is um, set our text box that we had up above before. We will set that to the to the username that was in you know again in the row that was clicked on. Then what I also do is I'm going to set the drawing color to black. We'll see why later on. We we'll change this color between black and gray. Then here's the other big part. So we set the grid panel. We make it invisible. Then that our main panel, that delete panel, we set that vis set its visibility to true. Let's just run this and show you how it works now. So if I'm a user and I say I can't remember the username, I'll click on list of users and then we can click on the delete button and notice the username in this one is Molly and then it flips us back and sticks Molly in here and now we can say delete user and get rid of the Molly user. So again the trick to this is getting this code. So what you would change on this is change this to match the name of your grid view object. You'd have to hand change it out here too. And then if you have the username in a different row, or I'm sorry, different column, change this to the other column and then change this to match the name of your text box. And then match these, change these two to match the name of your panels.